In our first show of 21, we tee it up on Jack Nicholas's signature course at Harbor Shores in Benton Harbor, Michigan. We'll meet Moby Dillard, a young man from Chicago, on a mission in the game of golf. PGA Tour Superstore rolls out their top new drivers for the season. We'll take a peek. Bernie's Book Bank helps Chicagoland kids by holding charitable outings at some of the top clubs in the state. We'll head to California and introduce you to the cool clubs of indie golf. And we'll head up the road a piece to do the ultimate buddy trip at Boyne Golf in Michigan. Welcome to the season premiere of Golf 360 presented by Chicago District Golfer Magazine. All right, this month we're hosting our show from the Jack Nicholas Signature Course at Harbor Shores Resort located nearby Benton Harbor, Michigan. This course is truly bucket list material. There is truly no golf course in the world that can duplicate what is here off the shores of Lake Michigan. It's basically four courses in one over this 18 hole layout that provides an experience that is both eye catching and memorable. Josh, you guys have been around since 2009. Everybody knows this is a Jack Nicholas signature golf course. How has this place grown and become what it is today? Well, I think with hosting major championships, the KitchenAid Senior PGA Championship, it just continues to gain notoriety. Uh, most recently rated one of the best golf courses in the, the state of Michigan through Golf Digest, which is a huge honor for us. Um, and, you know, ultimately just the growth of the development overall. You know, real estate is booming and, and the Arch District here in Benton Harbor. Uh, just to see a community revitalized over that time is, is exceptional to see. And this golf course is interesting. I described to you earlier that it's like 18 signature holes in one golf course. Is that a fair statement? Yeah, absolutely. I have always measured a golf course by memorability. Um, and I feel like there's 18 memorable holes here. It's hard to forget any single one. Um, and I think you would agree with that. But, you know, you have views of Lake Michigan. You play through the woodlands. You get down on the Paw Paw River. Um, but ultimately, every hole is, is definitely one in and of itself. And it causes a challenge for everyday play. Well, let's just talk about playing this golf course because you've got the Jack Nicholas greens, which are difficult. The bunkering is awesome. You know, just, just talk about what, what the golfer is going to experience when they get on this golf course. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the golf course in itself uh, it isn't, uh, isn't what we would call an easy track. Um, the average square footage of the green is 10,000 square feet out there. You know, when you come out to play Harbor Shores, you have to play it more than once. You start to understand it a little bit more. You start to understand Jack's thought process as he designed the golf course, routed the golf course, and you have to use your imagination. Uh, if you're going to score well, you better have a great short game and you better have those uh, irons dialed in. The KitchenAid PGA Championship has been contested four times at Harbor Shores. Holding this Champions Tour major here adds to the proof that this is more than just another course. The Golden Bears' expertise can be felt throughout this sprawling and entertaining design. It's a golf course that uh, goes into the sand dunes of Lake Michigan for three holes. Uh, it goes down through some valleys with tall trees. It goes uh, along two different rivers. Very, very unique golf course. It's got great variety in it and great fun. To make things comfortable on your visit, we suggest staying at the brand new first class four bedroom villas adjacent to the first hole. This makes accessibility to the dynamite practice facility, the clubhouse with all the other amenities, along with a beautiful fire pit, including teeing it up on the course, very easy. We have Jackson here who's the resident Pro, who's the best player here at Harbor Shores. All right, I gotta ask him about what he likes most about this place. So when you tee it up here, what, why do you enjoy playing here so much? Well, I think every time that we're able to play it, it's something different. And, you know, we, we never get bored playing the golf course. And as Josh touched on earlier, being able to, to think of every hole as a different hole, a signature hole, creates a lot of different shots that you gotta hit. Uh, it creates a lot of creativity around the greens, but just every time you play the golf course, it is a, a new challenge, um, but we'll call it a new opportunity to, to hit the same shots uh, a little bit different. After your round, you'll want to check out the impressive pro shop with cool clothing options, plus one-of-a-kind swag to take home, providing cool memories. Adding to the Harbor Shores experience this season is the implementation of a four caddy program that will certainly help people play better golf. Felt that for the first time guests here at Harbor Shores, uh, it's extremely important that they have a little bit of guidance coming around for the first time. Yeah, 156 to the pin here. I expect it to grow. Uh, I expect it to, to do great things and give great opportunities for those that are around here to you know, be a part of it. No doubt, Harbor Shores is a big time stunner accessible to all players. Next year, the best 50 plus year olds will test their skills once again here at the KitchenAid Senior PGA Championship. Coming up, we're gonna meet an inspiring young man from Chicago's Southside who became the top minority collegiate golfer 
in the country. So stay tuned. The CDJ Foundation utilizes the game of golf to enhance the lives of individuals with special needs, youth, and veterans. We are proud to help carry out the mission of the association through our initiatives to grow the game and provide access um, to individuals to enhance their lives through golf. In the peaceful rolling hills of Shanahan, Illinois, you will find a majestic layout that will please any golfer. Heritage Bluffs Public Golf Club is a true test of the game in an unspoiled setting showcasing natural landforms rarely experienced in Illinois. Architect Dick Nugent masterfully laid out one of the area's best courses featuring open prairie style golf to challenging tree lined holes. Come see why Heritage Bluffs is one of Chicagoland's highest rated courses today. Welcome back. In many ways, it's been a troubling time in our country with race relations. The game of golf can help break down some of these barriers. I mean, let's face it, we're all in this world together. Here's a great story of a young man from Chicago who has much to give. Mulvey Dillard grew up watching his dad hit balls at the Jackson Park driving range. This quickly grew into a love for golf where he excelled by winning the Chicago City Championship while attending Whitney Young High School. From there, it was on to Florida A&M University, where he honed his game and his perspective on the sport. You know, if you miss a putt, that's 100% on you. You can't blame anybody else. You don't hit the drive right. You don't set yourself up in the fairway. The ball is in your court the whole time. And so that kind of dependence with it and self-determination that you need to get with the game in order to be good, to push your own self, you can't always have somebody there. The grit that you go through when you're grinding, trying to figure something out. That That's the part of golf that I like. Practicing is the best one, I could say. That's what impresses me the most. Uh, he's very detailed when he practices. Uh, like, just the smallest things, he'll write them down uh, just for his next practice. So that's really what, what points out to me. Florida A&M in Tallahassee is a historically minority school and helped pave the way for Mulvey with a golf scholarship. He's been key in turning the Rattlers program into a successful unit, making their first ever NCAA regional appearance this year. While Tiger Woods has brought so many people into the game, it still hasn't been easy for people of different backgrounds to always feel comfortable on the course. Golf is golf because your scores don't have a race on them and your scores don't have a height or a weight or a uh, anything i mean mental disability like that has nothing to do with golf it's a gentleman's game it's how you play it's how you carry yourself so being a minority yeah it's had its challenges but that doesn't stop me or any of us at any historically black college it doesn't stop us from accomplishing what we need to he's a great leader you know he's been our captain for four years he came in it wasn't I didn't make him captain. I said this many times, like he decided he was going to be captain of the team. He wanted to be the leader of this team and he has been for four years. And, you know, we've done a lot of good stuff while he was here. And, you know, he's, as he said, when he came in here, he wanted to leave him a better place than when, before he got here. And he's definitely done. That. Recently, the inaugural Advocates Professional Golf Association was formed designed to help black golfers overcome obstacles to playing on the PGA Tour. When this came out last fall, Mulvey was ranked number one. This enables him to receive entry fees and travel expenses for APGA summer events. Plus, he will also compete in an assortment of other tournaments. I'm just excited to be able to, to say that I'm actually living my dream, like it's actually coming true. And that's, that's probably the most exciting part about it. I mean, I know that it's not going to have, it's not going to be completely ups and it's not going to be completely downs, but but that's something that I've ever dreamed of, just to call myself a, a professional golfer. And so I'm so excited that I'll be able to do that. There's no doubt Mulvey Dillard will be successful in this world. And here's wishing him the very best of luck this summer and beyond. We are here at the Vernon Hills PGA Tour Superstore and Chicagoland Golf is well underway. It's time for you to put some new products in your bag and we're here to talk to Mark 
the man who does it all, about some of the new products of 2021. Let's start on the T-Box. Let's start off with some of the new hot drivers. First, we have the, the SFT model. This is going to be Ping's new 425 driver. It's a little bit kind of a, an improvement on the face this year. So we're actually going with a forged face for those players who like to have a little bit more of a softer feel. It's going to really give them that feedback as well. This model that we have right here is the SFT version, so straight flight technology. It's a little bit heavier of a weight in the heels for the player who has a little bit of a difficulty trying to correct the slice or wants to hit more of a draw. This driver is really going to kind of bring that in so they're hitting more fairways. All right, well, let's just continue on to some drivers. I got some more questions about how we can dial up okay. what the best product is for each player. But all right, what do we got here? Oh, so we got Wilson. Yep, yeah, this one is our Wilson D9. So it is a new iteration this year. So it's a little bit more of an improvement. It's a three piece head. It's going to be a little bit of a mixture of composite as well as Kevlar. It is going to be a bonded head. So those players who like to actually adjust the weight of the head and actually kind of with the loft. We're not gonna have that option, but again, it is local, so it's gonna be a lot faster and a lot easier to support local communities as well. All right, let's go to the last one here. I think everybody's been talking about this one is the, the Sim 2 driver coming after the Sim driver by TaylorMade. Okay. What makes this one stand out and why is it so darn good? So this one as opposed to last year, right? So last year, everyone loved the distance. They loved the twist face as well. They've kind of done a little bit of a cosmetic change this year, so the ports are now on the side as well as the, from not on the face anymore. The difference that is really big on tour as well as all the marketing as well is the crown is now composite as well as the bottom. So it's, think about a big Lego piece. That's basically what this is. So you're getting lighter swing speed. You're still getting all that twist face technology. So you're getting a lot of the forgiveness as well. But if you're getting for distance, ball speed, this is where you're gonna wanna go to. All right, Mark, you just brought up a lot of uh, jargon there, some golf jargon. Behind us are some hitting bays, and I've done some work with you there before. Right, yes we have. Why are those so important for all these different types of drivers and different ty uh, style of players? So one thing that we can't stress here enough at the PGA Tour Superstore is we can get you in the best possible fitting for you. However, if you don't actually test it out, it may not be conducive to your swing. So we have a bunch of options here off the rack, but really fine tuning, getting in that, that loft adjustment, that head, that swing speed that actually fits your game best is gonna get the most out of your game. That's the great thing coming here. You get fit for a club that fits you, and it doesn't have to be, you know, whatever name you want. You really should get fitted for the numbers in there. Is that, is that correct? Correct. I mean, we can't stress enough. I mean, I know cosmetically, that's one of the things that draws to clubs first, just how we see it on the rack. But once you're actually able to get in store, actually hit the product, you may come in wanting a sim, but after you see the numbers and actually get the feel for the clubs, you may go to a Wilson, you may go to a Ping. Just really depends on what actually fits your swing and how you actually want to play your game. And you do that with irons as well, right? We do, yes. Everything all the way, even through putters as well. We'll go from putters all the way through drivers. Well, awesome. We'll be right back with a little bit more right after this. Here at Boyne Golf, each course tells its own story about friends, about challenges, about unforgettable moments. This is Michigan's Magnificent 10. Golf as pure as it gets. Huh, Ridgeback. Ridgeback, that's pretty cool. So it's a brace for the face. Ridgeback, like the doll. I'm, I'm really a cat guy. So what is it? The best feeling and longest metal that you'll ever hit. Is that Bernhard? Oh, great, Langer. <laughs> <laughs> You know why I play Tour Edge? Because I win with it. Pound for pound, nothing comes close. Welcome back to Golf 360, presented by Chicago District Golfer Magazine. It's always worthwhile to be part of charitable causes that help out the less fortunate. Bernie's Book Bank in Lake Bluff has unique events where you can play some of the finest private clubs in the area. Here with me is Brian Floriani, who is the founder of Bernie's Book Bank. So let's start with this, Brian. What is Bernie's Book Bank? Uh, Bernie's Book Bank is a children's book bank, and we now serve over 300,000 children in Chicagoland with 
12 quality books a year and it's just like a food bank but for children's books and uh, we're just grateful to be here today and, and talk to you a little bit about this. I've been familiar with Evanston Golf Club for a very long time. It's been around for 100 years. Bernie's Book Bank, different story, but decades of taking care of the underprivileged. And the great thing about golf is that we get so much from the game, we like to give back. And I can't think of a better uh, thing than to help kids who can't afford books but love to read and want to learn the opportunity to get books for free. What is the overall goal for this golf tournament here? And then more importantly, what's the overall goal for Bernie's Book Bank? For us, we think a little bit differently. We want as much exposure as we can get to as many different people as we can get to. And so golf events is a really good opportunity for us because you get to have camaraderie. We get four, four and a half hours with a bunch of different people who may or may not know about us. And it's really just an opportunity for us to tell them what we're all about which is serving underserved children and getting them as many books as we can so they can start their literacy journey. Two-person teams, you play your own ball, we keep it super simple. We want you to have a great time, we want you to make more friends, have fellowship. I'm so happy that so many of my friends uh, really uh, stepped up and got me a uh, full field. That was, uh, that was key. And it's uh, just a wonderful charity and a wonderful opportunity for us to help the book bank in their mission to uh, bring books to underprivileged children. Greg, give me the rundown of all the courses you can play in the Bernie Cup. Okay, great. So we have some great clubs. We're going to be playing Ivanhoe, which is a mixed format of 27 holes, which is going to be best ball, alternate shot, and scramble, where all the other ones are best ball, two-man teams. And then from there, we go to Crystal Lake Country Club. We go to Winstone, Hawthorne Woods, Merritt Club, and Sunset Ridge. You know, there's a lot of clubs that people have wanted to play but maybe don't get a chance. And, and really, you're treated like a guest at these clubs all day with some great fellowship. You know, we talked about the different format here. It's two-man teams, but there's a competition involved. So if you win the event, what happens? Yeah, this is really special. So if you haven't heard of Kenyatta down in uh, Marshall, Illinois, all the winners of these events will go down there in an event that uh, will be a huge celebration at Bernie Cup uh, in September. And uh, we're super excited about that because it is a special place. It's probably one of the top five places I've ever played golf. We should all remember that uh, to those uh, who have received a lot, we have to give a lot. And to do something to help out a kid, get smarter, uh, to be more engaged, to be more uh, on the road to success, doesn't get any better than that. What a brilliant idea to help provide the opportunity for under-resourced children to read their way to a better life. If you want to be part of this cause and play some top-notch golf, please go to BernieCup.org. All right, shifting gears a bit, let's head out to Carlsbad, California and check in with the up-and-coming Indy Golf. Putters and wedges are definitely the scoring clubs in golf. Indy Golf is an up-and-coming company based in the world's golf equipment capital of Carlsbad, California, where they make equipment for more enjoyment of the game. Rob, the game of golf has been around almost forever, right? And you guys have been around for about four years now. How did you guys come about and, and what is Indie Golf? There's three of us in the company that just love the, absolutely love the game of golf. And we've been in the golf industry for a number of years and we want to bring it to as many people as we can. So, you know, Indie is short for individual and we really like that because for us, it's getting the individuals enjoyment of the game higher, right? So increasing how much fun they can have when they're on the golf course. We saw an opportunity in the wedge category in particular because, you know, we saw what everybody was doing and it was kind of a sea of sameness. There wasn't a whole lot of new innovation coming dominated by a tour influenced shape, a tour influenced performance. And we thought to ourselves, well, there's a lot more golfers out there than playing on tour. They have two models of putters, the mallet style Allison, think of the well-known Elvis Costello song, My Aim is True. Those principles can be found in the blade-like putter of Ramon. Yes, we're talking about the punk band known as the Ramones. The music to your ears will be when you have more putts rolling into the hole. We know that in putting, the key more than anything else is speed, right? So that's what we try to dial in. And we've got something we call our colossal sweet spot this big blue area you see. So this basically means no matter where you hit it on the face, the ball is gonna roll the same distance, which is, again, like I said, you want really good speed control, because even if your line's off a little bit, if your speed's good, it's always gonna have a chance of going in. 
With this being aluminum and as light as it is, maybe you can tell on TV how light it is. It's just hard to believe how they've come up with this putter with these two weights on each end that give it all the weight and make it feel so soft when you roll the putt. Um, I've rolled a few outside of this office here and they're darn good putters. Let's give you a little wedge education. What do good players do with their wedges? They control the trajectory and they spin the ball. Indie golf is in the business of making it easier to play the sport and have done this by putting a ton of technology into their forgiving wedges. What we did is we took a little bit of weight out of the hosel, we shortened it, um, and we moved that out towards the toe, higher in the face. And basically what that does is it makes the head very forgiving. It moves the center of gravity to the middle of the face um, and makes it much more stable through impacts. So or when you're hitting it through the rough or hitting it out of bunkers, it doesn't twist nearly as much, so your shots are much more accurate. Indie golf could also be compared to what Odyssey was 20 years ago. Their clubs are smart, with appealing looks, and most importantly, works to help you play better. It's a different feeling wedge, it's a different performing wedge, and I, and I think it's interesting for a golfer to get them in their hands, and it changes kind of your approach game a little bit. The feedback that we get from players who play an indie wedge for the first time, their eyes get wide, right? They're like, oh my gosh, this is game changing, because one, you know, not only is it the control that they get, but around the green, being able to hit a shot out of the bunker. And we're not talking about a really, you know, weird looking club. I mean, we're talking about a beautiful club head that is gonna look traditional, but it's gonna just be packed with all this technology that's gonna allow you to hit all the shots that you want to. Founder Rob Lang cut his teeth with Callaway Golf, working under the man who started it all, the brilliant Eli Callaway. Next up on Golf 360, we head up to Northern Michigan to check out the magnificent 10 courses of Boyne Golf. So stay tuned. More spin means more control. Indie wedges will help you add more spin so you can stop it like the Tour Pros. Scoop back technology for forgiveness. Traction face milling provides higher spin. Box grooves for a bigger bite. Optimized bounce to fit your game. Precision shot making, extreme spin, unmatched forgiveness. Indie Wedges, the biggest bite in golf. Enter code Indy10 for 10% off at fairwayjockey.com. The CDGA is an allied golf association of the USGA. It's the only one based in Illinois. The CDGA has existed to promote and better the game of golf and in turn enhance the golfing experience for its members. The Handicap Index is the leveler of the playing field. It allows players of different uh, abilities to compete and to compete fairly on, on a regular basis. And that's really at the heart of the system. Welcome back to Harbor Shores Resort here in Benton Harbor, Michigan. Just up the road along Lake Michigan lies Boyne Golf. They have 10 magnificent courses and three distinctive resorts, making for the ultimate golf trip this summer. The highest ranked layouts are the three nines at the unparalleled Bay Harbor Golf Club. Overlooking stunning Little Traverse Bay, you may just have a hard time focusing on your game. There's the preserve, the quarry, and the links. So we have nine right along the lake going back toward Petoskey. That's called the Lynx, and it's truly a Lynx course. And then we also have the quarry course. There's only a handful of them in the U.S., but it was built in an old shale quarry. And then also across the street again is the preserve, natural hardwoods. You'd never realize over the last few holes that the lake sits 200 yards from you because you have hardwoods the whole way down the shore. But when you combo it up, it gives you three great opportunities to play with beautiful views of Lake Michigan and Little Traverse Bay. The jaw-dropping views make it hard to believe that you are actually in the Midwest. Just up the road of Pete's, you will come upon the varied layouts at Boyne Mountain and Boyne Highlands. Here you will find the Arthur Hills masterpiece that has diverse holes and expansive landscape like you haven't seen before. It's a masterpiece simply called The Hills. When you get out there, especially into the back nine, it's like, where am I? Uh, you get to holes like 13T and you look out over uh, the vista and you don't see anything man-made you'll see one other golf hole but it's just gorgeous to not see any other homes and especially when you're coming from somewhere where you can't see that kind of thing you get there and it's just it's, it's just beautiful it's very peaceful in 2019 the national golf course owners association recognized boyne's heather layout 
as the course of the year. It's a Robert Trent Jones Senior design that you will surely want to experience. Truly one of the best things about having 10 different tracks to play, all superbly manicured by the way, is the fact that there's always an opening waiting for you. You can make your tee times and uh, you can say, I want to play the Heather today on my first day and, and uh, it's, it's booked. And you'll just make it on some uh, other golf course, the hills, because you know they're so different and they're all good. I truly believe that they're all good and we have an opportunity to do that. At the Highlands humongous practice area, they now have TrackMan range, which captures an array of your swing data. Plus, it allows you to play a few other challenging games alone or with friends. You also want to check out the indoor fitting center, highlighted by the technical wizardry of the gear system. It's pretty cool stuff. We've got the gears technology where we'll put a suit on you, we'll put sensors on you. It's almost like we're creating a video game in there. We're going to put an avatar of your body on the screen and it tells us you know, what you, the way your body is moving and also more importantly tells us what the club is doing and uh, we can help you fit, get fit for clubs. Uh, fun thing is if you get fit for a club here we can have it drop shipped right to your home back in Chicago say. Imagine staying at the Bay Harbor Inn overlooking Lake Michigan and catching all the tranquility and beauty. With three separate resorts it's what sets Boyne apart. They have a variety of packages and plans that can be tailored to your liking. We even have a great escape week. For a little over $1,000, you can have access to all the courses. You get breakfast and dinner, and you get to enjoy all this. It's an unbelievable price. So you get to pick the way you would like to purchase it from us. We just try and make it easy for you to come have a good time and enjoy our great courses. The resort began and still continues, with skiing being the focal point for many years led by founder Everett Kircher in 1947. His son Stephen continues the legacy and is key to the resort's success these days. The latest upgrades that have been completed are the stunning guest room renovations at the Boyne Highlands Lodge. His vision was to create the destination in the Midwest and to some extent we're kind of going back to the future if you will um, with this transformation we're under um, of taking Boyne Highlands to the next level. Yes indeed great things are happening as Boyne continues to be an amazing destination. Thanks to our other pure Michigan brethren here at Harbor Shores Resort in Benton Harbor which by the way is only two hours from the Windy City. We appreciate you watching Golf 360 presented by Chicago District Golfer Magazine. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and linksvideo.net. Now go tee it up, and I'll see you out on the course. Here at Boyne Golf, each course tells its own story about friends, about challenges, about unforgettable moments. Oh! This is Michigan's Magnificent 10. Golf as pure as it gets.